Coming to you from West Hollywood. Well, it's really West Hollywood adjacent. At least that's what the realtor told us. It's the Josh McCuga Show. Tonight's guest, Clark Wolf. And now your host, the guy who once won $15 on a lottery scratch-off. It's Josh McCuga. All right, and welcome to the Josh McCuga Show. I am your host, Josh McCuga. Um, guys, before we get into it, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Josh McCuga. Subscribe to the channel here. Uh, leave some comments. Tell your friends. Tell your friends' friends. If you are new to a town and you don't have any friends, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll be something in common with somebody, like you should watch the Josh McCuga Show. It's a thing that we can all enjoy via YouTube. Support our Patreon campaign. There's a link right here. You'll be able to find us there. Um, I want to thank you guys for always watching the show, so thanks. And uh, I know the person that is on the show tonight is really excited about being here, and I'm really excited about having her here. Uh, you guys know her from, I mean, I, there's just too many things to count. You're, you're everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, she just smashed me in the schmodown. <laughs> she's my mortal enemy, but <laughs> she's here right now, and we're friends. Uh, Clark Wolf! Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, yeah, my Clark. friend. Um, let's, before we get into it, yeah. um, when we were doing the Schmodown, how good did it feel to beat me? <laughs> no, you know what's funny? Honestly, I did not want to beat you. I just didn't want to lose. Oh, <laughs> it but, was like so but nice. Beating me was that much. No, it was not about you. It was. It was. In fact, I was actually glad that I I played you on my first Schmodown because I knew you'd be nice to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew that the I knew the smack talk would not get too crazy. Yeah, and the smack talk is always just innocent when it comes. You know what I mean? It's. And to be honest with you, I am somewhat scared of you because I every time we hang out, you're like, oh, I saw this movie. It was called, like, The Death's Clock. And I'm like, what theater was that at? Like, what, who sees? The, you, the right theater. <laughs> you know horror films and uh, you're super knowledgeable about film in general. That's why you beat me in the showdown and you're gonna, I think you're going to go all the way to the championship and beat everybody, mm. uh, in my humble opinion, if I was betting in, in mm. Vegas or whoever's mm. taking bets in the showdown. Sure. But where did the passion for horror film come? Genre movies always scared me as a kid. Mm -hmm. Scared me bad. But I was always attracted to them too. Like I just love, you know, it was like more like dark fantasy movies like Beetlejuice or um, Legend or Willow or dark stuff Crystal. like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Labyrinth is my yeah. favorite movie. Of all time? Yeah, it is. I did not know I, Yeah, I figured that out. I have like a top five, I have top seven, yeah. but um, but Labyrinth I think I realized that, like a couple of years ago was my favorite. And the David Bowie dick bulge is what everybody <laughs> You know, it's so about. funny. Well, that's what all that the adults too. that I know talk about. But, but I grew up watching that movie, so I don't, I mean, it's not like I don't notice it, but it's also like of the top 10 things that I notice, it's like five or right, lower. So there's young Clark Wool, she's sitting there on her beanbag chair in her basement, <laughs> totally. watching her labyrinth, and she's not going like, oh, man, David Bowie's really wearing some tight pants. No, but I did think he was sexy. <laughs> I'd sure, why not? He's like an owl man. What's that? <laughs> Because there's nothing sexier to me than owls. Than an owl, man. Owls. I do yeah. love owls yeah. now too, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but um, hmm. uh, but no. So so I was always interested in it, but it always it, it scared me so badly. Like okay. horror really scared me um, until I got into high school, and then you know the reason I love genre um, and can watch so much of it and, and watch it over and over again is because I feel like it it along with satire, which you know I love comedy too, of course, of course. Um, is is the most, uh, has the most to say about a society or a people or a given place in time. What people are afraid of mm -hmm. is I think is very important, uh, whether it's a culture or an individual person. Everything. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, so you know when I got into high school and really started studying film, which yeah. is what I, you know, majored in in college, yeah. um, you know, it was always political commentary and horror and sci-fi. I just think it's so interesting and, um, and yeah, so so that's that's where it started. You know, it's funny yeah. because there are some things like I was at the gym today and Bones was on, and it was like you know the David Boreanaz like oh, I procedural. Bones, Thugs and Harmony. No, 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 naturally, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Bones was on, and I was like, what the hell? This is so violent and scary. And no, I'm not watching this. So it's like it's not that I like watching blood and gore. I feel like if it has a reason or a purpose, that's that's acceptable. But if it's like gratuitous in any way, whether that's law and order or whether that's a movie that is just slash and burn, then I can't watch it. Did you 
want to make movies? Did you want to write movies? No, I produce? well, I in my dream world, uh, which I still haven't given up on. I I looked at someone like Sandra Bullock, who's an incredible producer, but also still works in front of the camera, and um, you know that's that sort of my my dream scenario. Okay. I I would love to produce exactly films. Like how does Sandra Bullock look? To I you love too. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. She's my hero. I know. Well, she is. I got Sandra Bullock movies. I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. And the one that I didn't get, what was the one I didn't Witches get? Witches of Eastwick, yeah. Practical, Magic, Practical Magic, which I love Practical Magic, and I love Witches of Eastwick too. Yeah. I know that you love Sandra Bullock movies. I feel like I'm probably like 70, 30. Like if you were to quiz me on Speed, uh, The Proposal, um, anything rom-com yeah. with Sandra Bullock, and anything Speed related obviously, <laughs> Uh, I would be fine. Yeah. But some of the, her other like lesser known movies or like Practical Magic again, like I've only seen it once. Yeah, you know your rom coms pretty well. Yeah. I know that you do. You always seem to know more than everybody. Do you have like a really good retention of knowledge or are you just really good with words? I'm glad that it looks that way. Yeah, because um, you start talking and I'm like, I'll be over here drinking a nice tea. <laughs> like, I, I. Um, no, so we get our questions, we get our topics yeah. beforehand. Yeah. And so it's always nice to do a quick little refresher, yeah. which is one of the reasons why the Schmodown makes me so nervous. you can't prepare. Because I can't prepare. Yeah. I can't, I, I, that's the, we were, I was, I don't remember if I said this on camera or if it was just us talking, but I feel like I'm like the Tracy Flick of Schmodown. Oh, yeah. Like I want to prepare and I want to make cookies for everyone and <laughs> I just want to like win really bad. Uh, but no, I, yeah, so, so when we do the movie talk shows or when we do, when I know the topics in advance, I mean, yeah, I think it's, yeah. well, you know. Yeah, sure. So it's like, it's like. It's like yeah, studying. It's like yeah. school, right? I gotcha. I could, honestly, I could have sat in film school all day, every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> if I didn't have like a real um, need to work in the entertainment industry, I would be a college professor and oh, teach film. That's good. I could see you. You'd be a really good college professor. I mean, you wear the glasses all the time. <laughs> They're real. Yeah. <laughs> I need them to see. <laughs> to see things. Uh, all right. We are going to go into to tonight's game okay. right now. We've never played this game before. Okay. And I've noted on you're a very intelligent person, so I mean, you're sure you know this. Uh, we're going to play the Makuga Rorschach test. You're a pretty smart person, and I feel like I'm a pretty dumb person. Now, what this what this is, is I'm going to show you some Rorschach tests. Now, these are actually colored pictures. Old Rorschach ones were black and white. Uh, I'm going to ask you what you think this looks like, and then I'm going to diagnose you based on, not on what Rorschach or any famous person would say. I'm going to diagnose you on what Joshua Kuga thinks. Because there are some... explanations on the back. Yeah, on the back of these But cards. we don't need those from the professional. I bought these off Amazon, of course. I mean, Anybody Amazon. can put that up there. <laughs> Duh. All right, so I'm going to show you the picture. Okay. And then you're going to show me, tell me what you think you see. Okay. Are you ready, Clark? Clark? I'm ready. The pride of Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> What do you see here? Um, a, a mouse. <laughs> a mouse. A mouse mm -hmm. with little hands like this. Little hand mouse. So it's like here's the eyes mm -hmm. and the face and here's the ears and here's the little hands. And he's like a hand mouse. Or mm. it kind of looks like a fly too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hand mouse, hand mouse. Let's see. On the back here, there's no hand mouse. Oh, oh crap. Okay, what I what I'm told what this looks like is that you are a big fan of um, Five Old Mousekowitz. Sure. Uh, also a big fan of Ratatouille. Sure. Yeah. Of course. Uh, you were also when you were a kid. Um, I'm sure that you got some mice in your house. Your dad killed them in front of you and has ruined you forever when it comes to mice. Mm, mm. One, of, two mm. of those are close. Close. One of them, maybe. Have not. you ever killed a mouse? No. Do you ever have sexual fantasies about a man in a mouse hat? Not Did you regularly. hate Chuck E. Cheese? No. Did you like Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Of course. So good. Right? Okay. Who didn't? That was back when I ate gluten. Yeah, <laughs> gluten, gluten. All right, all right. Next okay. picture, I'm Clark ready. Wolf. What do you see? This looks like a, a scary bull. A scary bull. So like here's his horns mm. and here's his mouth and he's like, blah. Funny story. Oh, this we looks both like a did candle. the horns junket two years ago. Come. We did. Okay. That looks like a candle to me though. So I don't know why there'd be a candle on the a on the bowl. A candle bowl. Totally. Mm. Mm. Now, according to the Makuga Rorschach yes. test, this means that you love the movie The Longest Ride, starring Scott Eastwood and that girl from Who Tomorrowland. Who told? How did you know? Yeah. And also, uh, you're a big fan of Pabst Blue Ribbon because it rhymes with the professional bull riding tour. You're also a big fan of men from Texas with long steers on the front of their car. 
And you're also a big fan of the 1996 Chicago Bulls, the greatest NBA team to ever play. That is mostly true. Mostly true. Except for the PBR thing, because again, gluten. Oh, Basically, right. it all gluten. comes down to gluten. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, you had gluten a couple days ago, and you did. Uh, did I tell you about you that? About it. Jeez, now, my aunt poisoned me. This also, too, is the uh, the gluten ring right here. No. Yeah, this is the gluten. So, But the fact that you saw a bull uh, with gluten, that's good. It's good? Yeah, all right, it's good. good. It's good. Good. All right. Thank you, Dr. Makuga. Whoa! The next Makuga Rorschach. These are my high school colors, by the way. Red, white, and black. Oh, I was red, white, and blue. America. Oh, America. America. Uh, we had an eagle as our mascot, too. Oh, we were the Panthers. <laughs> oh, that was my college mascot. Ooh, we my had... college was the Nittany Lion. I don't even know what that is. It's a bobcat from the Nittany Lion region, uh -huh. the Nittany Mountain region. Okay. Yeah. So this, to me, looks like a turtle, but specifically the turtle from NeverEnding Story. Oh, yeah. Mora, the name? ancient one. Mora, the ancient one. Uh, the because, buddy. yeah, because mm -hmm. look, the eyeballs and little nose and little mouth and then his little face. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm only seeing animals. You're seeing a lot of animals Which now. is weird. If, you were, if I were to diagnose you based solely on you seeing animals, say you're a big fan of Darwin, <laughs> Uh, also a big fan of Sarah McLaughlin and those late night oh, commercials. She's doing the Lord's work. Yes. Uh, you're also a big fan of those really annoying Instagram girls that just keep posting dogs in kennels. What are you trying to say? Is that, are you trying to say that's no, me? No, you don't do that. No, I'm I just post my dog. You, you just, there's a lot of Rufus pictures. There are a lot Now, of the fact that you saw a tortoise from Never Ending Story means that you are a big fan of books, but also not reading the books, just decorating them on Pinterest. Okay, you know what? 100% correct. It. Good job, doctor. I am crushing this. Okay. You sure are. Last picture, the Makuga Rorschach test. What do that you see? That is a vagina. Oh. That is. Right? How is that not a uterus? How is that not a uterus? Right? Uh, or a scorpion? This is. This was also uh, apparently um, going to be the album cover for Lemonade, <laughs> uh, Beyonce's newest <laughs> album, uh, big time. I want you to look at the real, what does Amazon say this is? Look at the back. How is that not a lady part? Uh, I, I see, oh, I, one of them is fallopian tubes. Okay, thank you. Fallopian tubes. Uh, okay, so based solely on uh, the <laughs> Makuga Rorschach test, yeah. by the time that you saw a vagina, you're a big fan of Gloria Steinem. Oh, hells uh, yeah. You, I know that you're a big fan of the feminine movement, but empowering strong females. You can say feminist. feminist. I'm not afraid of the word feminist. No, I'm not afraid of you as a feminist either. Good. I'm scared to fucking death. You're, um, you're scared of me for different reasons. I'm scared of a lot of <laughs> things about It has nothing to do with being well, a feminist. <laughs> I will also say the fact that you saw this as a vagina uh, means that you, uh, you know, uh, I'm not scared of a couple, you know, maybe like a threesome. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I don't argue with that. I'm not scared of vaginas. <laughs> Clark Wolf, not scared of vaginas. She's also not scared of the sponsor of our show. We'll be right back after you hear from them. That was good. <laughs> the Josh McCuga Show is brought to you by Rebel Coast Winery, makers of Reckless Love and their classic white Sunday Fun Day. This kind of tastes like one time I bit a DVD. That wasn't terrible. Shut up. She said she was 18. It kind of tastes like that one time I fell in an elevator. Find it wherever wines are sold because it's the best wine around and it gets you really hammered and it'll probably find you your future ex-wife. All right, and welcome back to the Josh McCuga Show. Uh, I'm here with the lovely Clark Wolf. She loves to embarrass me on the internet. She also <laughs> is a fan of horror movies that uh, scare the pants off me. Currently, I'm wearing shorts on this desk, guys, because it can get hot in here. He is, and to be fair, you embarrassed yourself on the internet. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you, Clark. So usually what I do, instead of playing the Makugo Rorschach test, I would have asked you your top five favorite moments in movie nudity. Right. Now, we don't have a lot of time before we get into the personal section uh -huh. of the show. Just give me your top favorite moment in movie nudity. Yeah. Has, has Sandra Bullock ever been moved? Actually, yeah, once. She did a topless shot in a movie called Fire on the Amazon. 
uh, it's, that's looking way, way, way back. I'm gonna have to purchase uh, that you should Google internet. it. Uh, but I don't know if you can actually really find it, but I uh, know that it's kind of like she kind of did, kind of didn't. Um, yeah, look into that. Full frontal or just? No, 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 no. Just like topless. Okay. And, and I don't even know how much you actually see. Um, because I've actually never seen fire on the Amazon. Oh, hmm. But I have a thing called the internet. But, and, and I, I know look things. It up as soon as this is over. Exactly. So your um, top moment in movie nudity. Okay, so it was obviously a hard choice. Yes. No pun intended. <laughs> um, but I have to say, it is from one of my favorite comedies ever, Borat. Oh, I was going to say Airborne. Oh, no, that's my second favorite. <laughs> oh, dad, it's the scene where he fights his producer. Oh, with the butt the <laughs> Oh, yeah, the whole thing. So recently I was, um, I was being... You would pick this. I, it is so funny to me. You wouldn't go boobs, you wouldn't no. go like Michael Fassbender no. or whatever. No, no, it is so funny to me. I um, recently was being a smarty pants and texted my friend King in the Castle, King in the Castle. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, I need to watch Borat like right now. So I did. And that scene where they wrestle in the hotel room and then just run and take the elevator down and then run into the conference, it is so funny. It's still funny. It still makes me laugh until I cry. Um, okay, so this is like the section of the show we get a little personal. Okay. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. Yes. Is there, is there a guy out there for Clark Wolf or are you... Is it like, are, do, you, are, do you seek a guy or do you guys find me? You know, you and my mom would have so much to talk about. Because uh, you're so lovely. No. You know a lot about movies. Yeah. Uh, you're like, you're very personal. We met at a, at, when you were doing the Pop Fix, correct? But we actually met before that. Oh, we met at Schmoes. We, we met at Schmoes. That's right. And, at and went to Buffalo Wild Wings. We did. Wings Beer Sports. Yes, indeed. Wings Beer Wolf. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then. But we really got to know each other at the Pop Fix party. At the Pop Fix party yeah, yeah, because yeah. I didn't know anybody else. Yeah. And I was the only person eating cake. You and Mark Ellis came yeah. late and the yeah. three of us just hung and chatted yeah. and yeah, yeah, it was super fun. And I thought you liked Mark Ellis. No, oh, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I love Mark Ellis, but not. He's hideous. No, I, mean, I love him. No, no, I love yeah. him. And, and no, 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 I adore Mark Ellis, but not not in, in a not in a, in um, a romance way. kind of way. He's a romantic guy. He's the right? sweetest. I adore him. He's what, the best. What would be like your ideal date? What would be the, the ideal Clark Wolf date? Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like a lovely dinner, like Tom Hiddleston. No, that's in it. The night manager. Wherever he wants to go. I don't care. Did what you do you watch want to... the night manager? No, I oh, didn't man. watch it yet. No. Oh, I know he shows his butt in that, though. Um, oh, it's a great butt. He what also, well, he's pretty sexy in High Rise, too, but that's a different story. What is, where are these movies? Well, High Rise? High Rise is like an independent movie. You wouldn't like it because it's kind of scary. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but anyway. Um, no, I think there's a guy out there for me. Dear God, I hope there's a guy out there for me. Thanks. Um, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. No, I, no. Well, you know what I meant. Like, is do you actively search out for a guy, or you just do you like? Are you on a? Um, do you date a lot? Yeah, do, yeah, I do. Okay. I do. I go out on a lot of first dates. Okay. <laughs> are you? Um, do you have? Are you really picky? No, uh, I don't think so, actually. I do think, though, that for me, it's less about what somebody looks like. It's less about, you know, uh, how old they are. It, it's more about, I just know really quickly yeah. if I'm interested or not. And it's hard. Like, I wouldn't say I'm picky, but I, in particular. Partic is, like, I, intelligence a big thing? Because you're so smart. Well, I think that the people that I date are very smart. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying that they're not, but I'm saying like if you don't think they're on your level immediately. Oh, I, uh, that doesn't happen often. I don't. I off, I don't sit. I don't go. Oh, you're you're, you're not. Stupid. You're stupid. This is check, please. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's not how that goes usually. But no, I mean like I um you know. If, if you go on a date with a guy and yeah. the check comes. Yeah. And he says, "Let's go Dutch." Would that be a turn off? Um, is it the first date? First date. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I I'm do. Just kind of because I know you're a feminist of sorts. Right. So here's the thing, though, and this and is when I say of sorts, I don't know how feminist you are and how feminist you aren't. Well, okay, I would say this. Um, you know, it's funny because it's an in interesting distinction to make. But so I'm Southern. I'm from the South. Sure. However, I am really in very no way conservative. Yes. I don't think I'm conservative at all, actually. Um, however, I am very traditional. Yeah. And so that means I do want to get married. I do want to have buy a house. I do want to have at least a kid, probably just one. Um, <laughs> but you know, like I do want those things, and I want somebody to say this is my girlfriend and this is my boyfriend, and we go to things and that whole deal. Like I want a real relationship, and I feel like wait, you said girlfriend. 
Well, you know what I mean. Like, I me, meaning he would say, "This oh, is my girlfriend." Like, <laughs> Let's go back <laughs> to these. I've not Rorschachs. dated a girl. Yeah, show me the vagina Threesome? again. Could you show me the threesome in the vagina? Is this, is this the one? Vagina, yeah, still good. a vagina, <laughs> or a scorpion? But yes. no, but I, so yeah. So I, that's kind of how I feel about it. But no, if it's a first date, um, I do think if the the you know Miss Manners says if the gentleman asks, they the should fuck pay. Is Manners? It's like a thing. Uh, yeah, it, is Miss it like Manners. A fee? No, no, no. It's like um. Manners, it's like a manners rules thing. Like uh, Miss Manners says, nice. and so it's like um, like Mr. For, manners says, mm, don't fart on the first date. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that that's good. Uh, yeah. but yeah, dating in Los Angeles is hard. It's you not know this. Easy. It's not You're a, a gentleman. A gentleman. A gentleman in Los color. Angeles who was single at one point. That's you know true. how it is. You know yeah. how boys are. Yeah. Uh, and uh, girls uh, too. Yeah, I do. Cause yeah. you know, there's great ones. There yep. are. Uh, and then you know, it, but it's the hard part too. Is like if. I don't act like I wasn't actively searching for anybody ever, uh, yeah. And I never like, but like when one did come along, you kind of just—it's like I don't know. It's like it just like sure. Falls in. And and also I think that so much of relationships are right place, right time. Yeah. Timing is everything. Yeah. You can meet somebody who you have an incredible relationship with or connection with or whatever it is, but if they're not ready or you're not ready, and sometimes you don't even know. Yeah. You know, like and and you find you figure it out later, or you think about it later and you know, that is so important. Yeah. Um so I think that that's the hardest part. And also too is like you don't know like you think and then you end up becoming friends or you're better off as friends or something of that nature. Like timing is everything. I mean, you used to have to get to McDonald's at 10:30. Yeah. Now breakfast is all day. You don't have to make that So, timing. I've never done. Did you ever do Tinder? No. I never did Tinder. But I've been with friends who do Tinder and I think it's the funnest shit ever. Bumble is hysterical. So, Coffee meets bagel is amazing. Yeah, Bumble. I, I I so the person that I'm currently seeing I met on Bumble. Woo. Yeah. A little Bumble bro. A little Bumble bro. Yeah. Hey. And and it's a bumble, around, <laughs> a bumble, a little, bumble A little Bumble action yeah. there. Um but uh but still it's that's the only I mean, I guess I had done, I'd never done Tinder. Yeah. And I, yeah. I mean, I never think, say never, but never would. I feel like Tinder is MySpace, Bumble is Facebook, and Coffee Meets Bagel is what? Periscope? <laughs> like, I don't yeah, even I don't know, know yeah, what like Coffee going, Meets Bagel yeah. is. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> Paul Bjorn, That's everybody. amazing. I All right, it. let's go into the deep end. These are some, uh, just like some deeper questions. Okay. Some like in the inner workings of what happened to Clark Wolf at one of those, some of those more vulnerable moments. Let's spin the wheel of destiny. Oh gosh, that's right, I've seen this thing. There are some questions you have that I don't even know like the answer 10, to. Top 10. Oh, Clark Wolf's most memorable sex of my <laughs> life. We finally got it. It's only been a few episodes, but the randomizer got it for Clark Wolf. Let's hear it. All right, I, a I guy actually... covered me in blood and then stabbed me and sacrificed me to the owl god. Well, see now I don't even have to tell you because you yes. just nailed it. That was it. Uh, no, I um I okay so it was um well, I was nineteen and Ooh. I was in the uh, south the of Navy. France. Oh, south, south of France. Yeah, I was in, with the Navy. Uh, no, I was there for the Cannes Film Festival Ooh. and um, it was At part 19. of yeah and it was a school program that I was on and what was in France for was <laughs> in France for a month for that okay. and. Um, and then the last night there, I met this guy, this uh, French man, and he was French, so <laughs> handsome. And um, what was his name? Uh, Tomas. Yeah, of course. And uh, not to be confused with Hiddleston, Tomas Hiddleston. I wish. <laughs> not to be confused with Thomas. Yeah, no, Tomas. And so we um, it was my last night there, and he was staying. So in this, we were in this town. It was between Antibes and Cannes, and it was called um, Juan Le Pen. And uh, and so we went back to his. He was staying in this cottage. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, seriously, this beautiful like little French cottage of this big house. And he was staying in the little house, and um, we just listened to Nina Simone all night and. Woke up with the sun, and we are still. He wishes me a happy birthday every year, and so do I. We're still in touch. Fucking Tomas. And God, it was just like so. Oh, I am a French lover. He was. Just, oh, God, he was you gorgeous. You like the film? Too. Oh, yeah, he was. Cinema. He was gorgeous. It was great. Yeah. yeah. So that's. It was. It was very. It was just like cinematic. Let's do a little PSA for the American guys out there. <laughs> we can never beat French men. Not like, when there's Nina Simone has, involved. Uh, and a cottage in the south. And a of cottage France. in yeah. the south of France. It's just like my condo in Pittsburgh. It's the same thing. <laughs> I All know. right, we're gonna go to three for the road. Three minute rapid fire questions. Here we go. In three, two, 
One. Have you ever had sex with a man named Tomas in the south of France? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, barbecue ribs or buffalo wings? Oh, buffalo. Flip cup or beer pong? Uh, neither. I'm gluten free. <laughs> All right. Are homeschool kids just the worst? Uh, mm, kind of. <laughs> uh, you ever had sex with someone you're not attracted to? No. <laughs> ever told someone you love them when you didn't? No. Uh, do you go out of your way to recycle? Yes. Are you worried about climate change? Oh, yeah. Sopranos or Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. If you had a hot stalker, would you be okay with that? No. When you hold the door open for someone and they don't say thank you, what do you do? Fuck you in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Friends character are you? No, oh, I'm a Monica. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was are. a Rachel, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, Happy Gilmore or Billy, or Billy Madison? Happy Gilmore. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite Girl Scout cookie? Oh, tag along before I was gluten free. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Ben or Jerry? Oh, Jerry? What makes a lake great? Oh, everything. <laughs> it's boats. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> boats, yep, yeah, that's the answer. Sean Connery or Roger Moore? Oh, Sean Connery. Pete and Pete or Salute Your Shorts? Salute Your Shorts. Uh, have you ever been blacked out drunk? Yeah. <laughs> favorite <laughs> SNL cast member? Oh, God, I don't have one. I think we were blacked out drunk together. Yep, we, uh, yes. <laughs> most money you've ever spent on jeans? Oh, uh, not much. Your favorite YouTube video? Oh, shoes. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> you ever watch a full episode of Cops? No. A movie you watch and cry every time. Oh God, still I know it. Do you have a, Do you have stickers on your car? No. Can a guy with chest hair wear a deep V? Yeah. <laughs> Guess on. Do you get? Do, yeah. Oh, Thomas, we had a deep V. Oh, we made love under the sun, and we listened to Nina Simone. Uh, do you collect anything? No. Do you read your horoscope? Yeah. Uh, have you ever been arrested? No. Dogs or cats? Mm, dogs. What was your AOL screen name? Oh, um, Starlet1414. <laughs> Ice cream or frozen yogurt, one minute. I like them both. <laughs> Oldest person you'd hook up with right now? George Clooney. <laughs> I was going for a number, but that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you poop in a public restaurant? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you ever stayed friends with an ex? Yes. Ever gone, uh, go, mm, sorry. Uh, anyone ever thrown you a surprise birthday party? Yes. What classic poster was on your childhood bedroom wall? Oh, something with Jonathan and Taylor Thomas. Is oh, that a classic for 90s people? 30 seconds. Did okay. you take 21 shots on your 21st birthday? No. Custom voicemail or uh, generic? It's custom, but it's all the words that they say in the generic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best celebrity impression. Can you do one? Oh, um... Ooh, I don't know. Come back to me on that. <laughs> uh, is your MyFace profile still active? No. Uh, would you feel okay naked in public? No. When you lost your virginity, was it good? Ten seconds. It was okay. Would, who would play you in a biopic? Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you rather Taylor Swift or Adele write you a breakup Adele. song? Adele. One last. Uh, uh, have you ever won concert tickets from a radio station? No. Clark Wolf! I want to think of a celebrity impression. Who could I do? I don't know. Who do I, who could I do? Who? I only, uh, I like, the other day I thought I was doing a really good Michael Caine and I tried to do it on the phone to my lady. You know friend. what I could do? How about this? Oh, sorry. What was the rest of the story? No, I like tried to do the Michael Caine. She's like, that is terrible. All you have to do, well, as we've learned, all you have oh. to do is say, my cocaine. Oh, oh, my cocaine. My cocaine. Oh. Uh, okay, how about this? I can do Jodie Foster in The Silence of the Lambs. Are you ready? Yeah. Dr. Lecter. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. They were, the lambs, they were screaming. <laughs> Jody Foster, not But bad. in the silence of the lambs, very specifically, and just those like quiet moments. <laughs> Clark Wolf, thanks for being here. Thanks for You're having me. You're the best. All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Josh McCuga Show. Subscribe to our channel right here. Watch every episode right here. Support our Patreon campaign right here. And you guys can comment in the YouTube section below. Leave me some awesome comments. You know I'll always respond because I love you guys. The difference between LA and New York is the walk of shame in New York is very public. You're on the 6 train, headed downtown, while everybody judges you because you smell like Jack Daniels and cigarettes. Where in LA, you're stuck in traffic all alone. And all you have is your thoughts.